uh, we are demonstrating a new meniscus repair device this is called as an eco stitch device and this device is based on the principle of inside out repair as well as all inside repair this has got advantages of inside out repair as well as the advantage of all inside repair the peculiar advantage of this particular anchor is that this is the smallest diameter needle which is available in any all inside repair device so the the needle which which we have in this is a 0.8 millimeter thickness needle which is may very less as compared to uh, the all inside suture repair devices in which the needle diameter uh, ranges between 1.5 to 1.8 millimeters because they are hollow needles and the anchor is seated inside the needle so that needle is wider and you, when you put the hole when you pierce the meniscus with that needle of any all inside meniscus repair device it makes a larger hole into the meniscus and meniscus being a very uh, soft tissue occasionally if you make a larger hole there is higher chance of pull out and cut through okay so this device has the advantage of the this is the smallest diameter needle which is available for any all inside repair device so this anchor has basically this is an all inside repair system based on the principle of inside out repair and here you don't have to put any uh, any incision or scar on the back of the knee here the needle will serve as a delivery device for the anchor into the posterior part of the capsule okay so what actually it is it has got two needles two anchors and a self tied knot on the posterior aspect of the anchor okay so basically if you see the anchor it's a very innovative design anchor this is a patented uh, uh, technique so this is the needle on this needle we have a anchor which is loaded okay so when you pierce your meniscus with this needle it is a 0.8 millimeter pierce inside the meniscus which is the smallest pierce or the smallest hole which has to be made with any all suture anchor device less harmful this is 0.8 less harmful okay so less damage to the meniscus okay so this is the first needle and this is loaded with the anchor now this is the second needle and this is again loaded with an anchor okay now this anchor with this thread is just a delivery device so when you pass this needle outside of the skin you cut it off and take it off the anchor will load on the posterior aspect of the uh, meniscus now this is a device which is compulsorily be to be used with this repair now this is called as a slotted zone specific cannula this is a slotted zone specific cannula which can be placed at the position of your choice at the anchor of your choice okay so we keep it at its place like this okay and then we ask our assistant you put it please to put this you have to put it to pass the needle through the meniscus okay please go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead now whenever it is out of the skin my second assistant will pull the needle out of the skin okay you have to pull it out beta so you have to pull it out till you can see the thread on the back of your knee okay pull it out 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 till you see the thread yeah very good okay so now you can see the thread on the back of the knee and this is the position till where you have to pull it out once you are done with that what you need to do is you need to take it out this thread out of the slotted cannula like this okay and then you pass the second needle okay from here okay and then you pass the second needle from here okay 
Push it in, push it in. Very good. Push it in, push it in, push it in. Beautiful. Now I'll ask my second assistant to pull it till the point where it, the thread is seen inside the outside the skin. Okay. Once both of the that's it. Once both of them are in, you can just take out this clotted cannula like this. Okay. And now you will have two threads, one blue and one red and then you have to use your uh, ring finger or your index finger to hold the device like this okay the whole device will be hold like this okay one anchor here one anchor here and not in the center okay like this okay and then the second assistant has to start pulling the threads one by one so pull the green pull the green pull the very good pull the blue pull the green alternatively he'll pull up both the anchors pull the green pull the blue 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 pull the green pull pull the blue one first blue one first blue 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 pull the green 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 very good now both the pull the blue Okay, so now both of the anchors are ready for deployment like this. Okay, the other thing that you can do is at the time of using this, you can actually mark this uh, threads so that you don't overshoot or go in. So what you can do is you can mark these threads with the help of the marker initially before starting this that is one now both of the anchors if you can appreciate are sitting on the meniscus one here and one here now you will pull the blue one blue anchor slightly pull the blue anchor slightly pull the blue one blue one yeah pull it pull it pull it pull it pull 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 stop pull the green one pull the green one pull 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 stop so now both of the anchor have gone posterior to the capsule okay and you can see with this mark that we have made that both of these anchors have gone and also you will hear a noise when you whenever you are pulling it out of the capsule you will hear a noise or you will you will feel a give out sensation that the anchor has penetrated the capsule once you are satisfied with that I need a knot pusher. I need a knot pusher. Hardik. So once you are satisfied with that, what you need to do is just hold it, hold this part, hold this, hold this meniscus. Very good. What you need to do, hold this from here. Then you, what you need to do is you need to cinch it like this. And you can see that once we are cinching the uh, thread, okay the anchors have deployed on the posterior part of the capsule both of the anchors i have deployed nicely and become a flower on the posterior part of the capsule so when you tension it like this firmly you can see that both of the anchors are tensioned on the posterior aspect of the knee and the tear is also approximated and there is a knot here so this is a self tying knot you can just leave it at this point of time or you can use a knot pusher Hardik a knot pusher please so what you can do is I, either you can leave it at this stage but what I do personally is I use my knot pusher and I would use I would tie two more security stitches to secure the knot into its place hold please so to secure the not anchor into its place so if you do this you will have a very nice secured fixation of your anchor onto its place so this is the knot which is there and you will see both of the anchors are now deployed very strongly on the posterior aspect of the capsule and it may becomes a very nice construct the other difference of this construct as compared to the other all inside suture repair devices is the thread which we get here is thicker than the other all suture anchors. 
in other all suture anchors or all inside meniscus repair devices you have a thread which is either a 2 0 or or 1 0 here the thread is number 0 and this is larger than the other all inside meniscus repair devices leading to a more secure fixation of the meniscus person so once you are done with that give me a scissors please or a cutter please so once we are done with that we just have to cut this thread from outside you have to just cut this thread from outside with any any of the suture any uh, any of the uh, like scissors or anything and just pull it out okay again cut it like this okay and just pull it out okay so these devices these needles came out of the knee and these are just delivery devices and this and you don't have to make any incision on the posterior part of the knee which you, you, you have to make in the inside out technique so inside out needles loaded anchors and that is why the needles are very small so the punctures it will make into the meniscus is very strong and the thread size is bigger than the uh, all inside meniscus repair devices so overall it makes a very good construct and in the end finally you can go in and just cut these uh, threads one by one and usually you will have a very good repair the other advantage that you will feel this as, as i told you is because the thread is a larger or a thicker thread and you can tension it better than your all inside meniscus repair devices you need to put less number of these sutures as compared to your all inside meniscus repair or inside out repair so supposedly if you have to put five of the all inside repair devices if you're using eco stitch three and four three or four should be sufficient so you have to put less number of stitches and it has got a better fixation as compared to very good or good pull out strength all inside uh, all inside all suture repair so no harm even if this is everything is suture only so no metal or plastic material inside the repair and tissue, this which one this knot this awkward accident in human tissue this knot will be like the same same no 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 reaction no reaction yeah so overall it's a very good technique uh, it's an innovative technique it's a it's a good technique for meniscus repair any questions okay. can we use it for posterior on tear of lateral meniscus so no so because that is the area where you have a vessel so i would not recommend so you can use it for all of the meniscus uh, middle meniscus so for middle meniscus if you have to use it you have to go on uh, with a medial weaving portal and lateral working portal and you can use it for whole of the medial meniscus from posterior to anterior but if you want to use for a lateral meniscus you want to use it with a, right, a lateral weaving portal and medial working portal and then you can use it for the anterior two-third of the lateral meniscus avoid using it for the posterior one-third because if you put your needle like this in this direction you might end up going into the uh, either the nerve the popliteal nerve or the uh, vessel the important popliteal vessels there so this is this technique is to be used for whole of the middle meniscus can be used for whole of the middle meniscus from the lateral side that is very important not from the medial side and about anterior two-third of the lateral meniscus okay Sir, is it useful in the meniscal cyst repair yes you can use it same same way you can do a meniscus uh, cyst repair yeah you can use it the same way okay thank you